All right, guys, so I got kind of a fun vocal effect here, and I figured I would break it down for you. So I'm wearing my open back headphones, but I've noticed that there's not a ton of bleed with these. Um, I actually used them while I was teaching recently, and I was like in Zoom with this whole setup here, um, and it was okay. So I'm just going to try it out and hope that there isn't any bleed into my microphone, but I am recording my microphone to a separate track, so if there is, I'll just mute it uh, during the playback section. So I hope that works out. Um, please don't come at me for using open back headphones while filming with a microphone. Um, I have thought about it, so... So basically I have this track that was an exercise of sorts. So it's not mixed. It's just uh, experimenting with different things. Okay, so please be, be nice to me about like the mix and how it sounds and stuff. It's, it's really just, it was done as an exercise within a few hours. Well, it was like seven hours, um, but that's it. It was just a quick exercise that I did one day. Um, and since I did it, I have the rights to share it. So here I am sharing what I did with the, with the vocals with you guys today. So um, I will play, I'll just jump into the part of the track that I think we'll probably focus on. Um, so here's some of my vocals. Here's some more of my vocals. Um, I'm not a singer. So these vocals are very affected. Um, Again, just an exercise. So I'm just going to play what it is so you can hear it. So I think you get the idea here. So what I want to focus on today is just how I got these uh, vocal sounds. So there's me saying descend right here. And then there's also all these vocals here, which were like the higher, um, I don't know, kind of warbly uh, vocal sound. And I kind of liked it. Maybe it's silly of me, but I kind of liked it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So first of all, um, I will solo these two so you can kind of hear which one's which here. So here's just... Uh, brace yourselves for for this because um, by itself it's a little you know whatever but uh, that's how it is so um, I will share it with you guys at the risk of people being mean So this is kind of one of the cool things about like having all these tools and all these modern like plugins and stuff is that we we can experiment with these things and we don't have to be the most amazing musicians or anything. So um, here we are. Uh, so I'm going to show you this one, which is the descend part. So I believe that's me too. Um, so basically, I'll show you this one really quick because it's pretty easy. I just um, put a compressor on it. It's been a while since I did this. It's been like a couple months or so. So uh, if it looks like I am looking at what I did and then talking about it, it's because I am. So um, I added a compressor to it. So it's not an extreme compressor. And then I added this Waves Ovox, which it might just be pretty close to an actual um, preset that I did. It looks like I took Grit Box and then I modded it a little. It looks like I might be automating this here. And I probably just started automating this to make it a little more interesting and to kind of like go into what I'm actually saying with the descend, descend. Um, so that's something you can do to just, you know, add automation all over the place. It always adds interest. Um, you know, use your own discretion and your own ear. Um, and then I just added panning to this. So um, you can see how fast it's going here. Uh, Pan Man's a lot of fun, by the way. 
Uh, but what I'll do here is I'm going to play this. I'm going to bypass these and then I will bring them back in so you can kind of hear things. Oh gosh, I'm going to brace myself to hear this unaffected. All right. Descend. Oh, Descend. it's AJ. It's not me. Descend. 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 I did some descends and then he did some descends, but it's just AJ. Um, cool. So that's it plain. Descend. 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 With compression. Descend. 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 With ovox. So that's the bulk of the sound there is the ovox. And then with panning. Descend. 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 And I hope the panning's coming across. I know in one of my previous videos, someone said that uh, it came through in mono. Um, and I am actually, what I've done here is I've done a whole loopback setup. Uh, so I just checked it and channel these first two channels here. I received the four channels off my, uh, QuickTime screen capture. And these two, first two channels, I just panned something way over to the left before starting this. And it was definitely panning. So, um, I will double check that also in premiere. It might be premiere where the, where the mess up happened, if it happened. So, um, I'll try to make sure that the panning actually comes across guys, but let me know if it doesn't. Okay. Um, Anyway, so that's that sound. And you can actually hear in this, especially once I add the compressor and everything's brought up more, you can hear like the reverb and stuff. Um, there is a little bit of, of reverb on this master fader, uh, but that's pretty much it. I think this is just, let me look at the routing here. So descend is just going out one, two. Yeah, so it's just the stuff that's on the master fader besides this here. Um, so that's that sound. And then I will show you guys this one, which I'm a little more excited about personally. Um, but I will solo this guy for you. All right. Now I really got to brace myself because I know this is me singing it. Um, so basically, uh, what I have here is I have compression, right? So I'm, I'm evening out those dynamics a little bit. I have a bunch of tuning, um, a whole bunch of tuning, 100% correction, yeah, a whole bunch of tuning. So uh, I have that, that is a big part of the sound here. Um, and then I just high passed it. You know, my voice isn't existing down here, so you might as well, helps clean it up a little bit. That is the mixer in me adding that, even though I didn't really mix this. Um, but again, it's just an experiment. Um, then I did some pitch shifting. I don't know why I decided I liked it pitch shifted might not have been the best idea. I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah. And then I added this unfiltered audio, Sandman. This one's a lot of fun. Um, it makes some really cool delay effects. So I love experimenting with this one. Um, and then I added a little reverb here. So let's, I will bypass everything. And you can see here with these other ones, a lot of these vocal tracks I made and then I muted them. For example, like these two, I, did not want to keep them, so I muted them. I made them, I really quickly decided I didn't like them. I muted them. You'll also see things like plugins that I added that I then bypassed because I decided I didn't want to use them. That's kind of like how we, well, how I expand and hopefully get better <laughs> as an engineer, you know? A lot of experimentation, not being too hard on yourself when you try something and it doesn't work because a lot of times it's it's not gonna work. That's part of how we, how we improve. So um, I'm going to mute these and then I'll bring them back in. Ooh, ooh, I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear it. Oh, oh no, oh no. Ooh, oh, oh no. I don't know if I can even play that for you guys. It's so bad, I cannot sing. Oh, oh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I can share it with you guys. I'm gonna bring the tuning in first because it overwhelms me. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna play it now with the tuning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can hear how off I am because you can hear it going between notes. Um, that's how bad I am at singing. I swear I can hear pitches. I went through a pretty rigorous music program, a four year liberal arts program. I did ear training and stuff like that. And I, I did well at it. It wasn't my best 
course, but I did well at it. I'm just, I cannot sing. I, I cannot sing. So um, I can hear it. I know how off I am. I just can't do it. If anyone has advice for how, like learning how to actually sing, that would be cool. I would love to be able to, but I just can't. Um, all right, so there's the tuning. I am not sure if I will have shown you the raw by now because it's so embarrassing how off I am. Um, but here, we're gonna add the compressor, which I will show you guys. So it just brings it up a little bit. Um, brings that like th those finer details up a little bit more too um than this which doesn't it's not going to have a huge impact uh because i'm just uh high passing everything so but that can get rid of like if there's a low bump or something in the sound it, it gets it out so it's it's you're less likely to have like you know muddy up your mix with stuff that you don't want um, so then I added this pitch shift here. And I don't know why I didn't do like a third up or something, but um, I guess I liked that frequency and how it sounded. I don't know. Um, that's my story. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes we don't know what we're doing and we do it anyway. So um, this one's really fun. I'll, I'll bring this in and out here so you can hear it. Okay, so I didn't bring it in and out because I got really into it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I swear. So that's that. That one makes me smile the most so far, I think. Um, and then I just added reverb. So um, let's see. It's not very much it here. It's only 10% mixed in. Um, let's see. So it just kind of glosses it over a little bit. It's not a huge, huge thing or anything. Um, I don't, I don't like a ton of reverb. I don't know, I don't know why. It seems like a lot of people, if you go on like these websites where people check each other's mixes and stuff, people seem to love a ton of reverb on things, and I, I don't personally like it. I, I really don't know why. It feels like to me, it feels like the people, when people add a ton of reverb, unless it's like really well done and it's really well like sculpted and matches the song well I feel like sometimes it just seems like the person couldn't hear reverb very well and so they just added a whole bunch um, which I'm sure happens and I don't know if it's that's what it is every time I think it's that because I tend to think that a lot but um, I don't like a ton of reverb I don't know I don't know why let me know in the comments if you like a ton of reverb because I feel like I'm the only one out here that doesn't I don't know maybe that's something to talk about um, but yeah, that's it. That's, those are those two sounds. So I'll just kind of play them again, uh, in context. Dang it. Well, that happens. My computer froze. Let's see if it'll, if it'll play now. It's gonna freeze again. Yeah, so it froze again. So if you wanna hear it in context again, just rewind, check out the beginning of this video. I was able to play it in context. I think my computer is just having trouble with like loop back and the quick time screen capture and like all this stuff at once. So um, that's that. 
I hope you liked that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I actually, I think it's really cool how you can do all this stuff without being like, you can play with these uh, digital things like the plugins and stuff and, and try to make some kind of a soundscape or a project without being an amazing musician. You know, it's kind of a whole different category of, of creative expression. And I really love that because I'm not a great musician. I've always wanted to be an engineer. So I kind of learned the basics on a bunch of different instruments, but I didn't get good at any of them really. Um, so I kind of like that, that I can do these kinds of experiments. Um, and I actually, I kind of did something similar. I have, I don't know if you can tell by listening, but I actually have an electric ukulele in this piece. So, um, I did something kind of similar. It's not as exciting cause I didn't, uh, I didn't use as many plugins and stuff. I kind of just used Waves Ovox and, um, you know, tweaked it a little bit, like opened up a preset that I liked and then tweaked it a little bit. Uh, so it's not as exciting to like pull apart and see what I did there. But um, let me know if you want to see and hear how that was done. Um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll make a video for you guys. But other than that, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my Patreon patrons do get access to additional content. So please feel free to check that out. Uh, I really appreciate all my patrons. You guys are awesome. And you guys definitely keep this channel going. Uh, I would not be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay. So I actually have a funny story. I don't know why I was thinking about this today for the first time in years, but uh, like the first weekend of college, I was at a party, and I was like tipsy, drunk, whatever, um, and some guy asked me for my number, and I actually gave him my home phone number because I was used to handing that out, and I didn't, I wasn't used to having a cell phone number, and so I like completely accidentally gave this guy my number, and then he started calling it, but he started calling it like in the middle of the night when he was out partying, and so then like my poor family had like this phone ringing off the hook in the middle of the night, and um, I felt bad because of that, but then also because I gave this guy, I should just giving this guy my cell phone, but I wasn't used to having a cell phone number. So um, I was thinking about that. That was a pretty funny story. I don't know why I thought that would be fun to share with you guys, but here we are. So I was like so embarrassed about it that I don't think I really spoke to the guy ever again, which is awkward. That's really awkward. I should have just gone and found him and been like, hey, here's my cell number. But no, I did not do that. That's pretty funny. Um, cool. Bye, guys.